So welcome to Bunny's Designs. Um, I don't think I took my... Oops. Yeah, I didn't take the autofocus off and it was not jumping. So give me two seconds. Let me tick that. It says, everything it says it's saved and it never does. Right, so I think that might be fine. So welcome to Bunny's Designs. Uh, this is a, a live stream of Tuesday. My normal Tuesday, so I've got my Derwent art canvas bag, and it's it's thinner canvas, but it's all double stitched. So and it's stitched in an anti fray kind of quite. This is like a, a nylon, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be fine. So in the top here, um, and I've just painted my nails. I found um, some little Chinese pots for inks and things, and I thought for calligraphy. Um, and I thought, well, I'm not going to use them, but I thought that's quite small enough to be a little flat dish because I am using a dish that um, was given to me when I was a little girl with a soap in. So on the front of the soap would have been um, a transfer of, uh, and it was actually in the garage. It's It's got a little bit chipped, but it's something that I had when I was about five. So it's 50 years old, near as damn it. So I'm going to treasure that. And it's very handy to for my... Um, my long rigger brushes and it's quite shallow so it's quite nice to to have something that means a lot to you and the other thing that I pulled out that I thought I'd use is my inkwell that I've, I've had for a long time and I thought that would go in my Victorian little travel box but it won't um, and I thought that would be quite good because when you when you actually use the the end of the brush you can you can use that for the water to go back in so that's another little thing that I thought I would use. And then, of course, I found the little dish. Um, but if I start doing inks um, with Indian inks, I can put my Indian ink in there. Oops. I don't know where the bits have come from. So in that, I think that's all I've got in the front pocket. So I've got my little water pot as a, as a flat dish. Because I'm in the wheelchair and I'm... Um, on a train so and I'm being met from the station so basically I don't have to carry anything and hubby's coming with me anyway so I don't have to carry anything so that's quite nice yeah oh thank you I forgot my glasses were on the floor yes right okay so I'm gonna open my bag up oh, I was right the first time I'll never get this the right way around <laughs> yes pocket I remember that oh dear sorry Nigel it's feeding time at the zoo, so it's quite frenzy. And we've got, um, we were going to have Charlie, the um, green Amazon parrot, and unfortunately um, he uh, he fell off his perch last night, bless him. So he, he is no more. He is a dead parrot, unfortunately. So Charlie has uh, bitten the dust, so that's quite sad. So what I've got in here is, I've got one or two special... Uh, paint brushes that I've I bought for doing uh, the for, for, for sketching uh, for doing outside um, watercolors but of course I won't be using them for that but I thought they would be quite nice um, this this one and then this one and just for that small amount of water uh, I thought they would be quite nice to use this is a, a Da Vinci. Can't read that. Maestro Voyage nine ten one, um, and I thought these would be quite nice to pop into here. And then there's a couple of these little travel tiny ones. So sometimes I have some quite fine work. And I don't really want to get the blender into there, so I just immediately dampen them. And then I found a place for my... Uh, and these are what I found. These are how my children, who are 17, uh, 16 and 18, these are how they've kept their blades with old erasers. So it's passed on, but I found two together. So, so I'm going to keep that in there because then I can put my hand in here and not be worried. Whereas if you have that like this, it's a little bit worrying 
but if I shut that everything's kind of safe and it is a little bit bulky but it fits in there and it means those pencils uh, and the paintbrushes some are about 35 some are 25 so that's quite a lot of money so they're quite precious and I won't be buying any more so um, I've got them handy there um, I've got my little blue stickers and I use those in my book because um, sometimes when you're flicking about especially if you're doing videos uh, sometimes you can be thinking you know where on earth is that so I have stickers at the top for the pages I've started and I have stickers at the side for pages I've finished you can see there's a lot more at the top <laughs> than there is at the side so that's another indication that you know I need to take some of these books away with me and, and really kind of get on with them I've got my Derwent eraser with um, I found another little box so I put the erasers, spare erasers in there and I can swap them out if I want a sharp one because sometimes I want a very fine highlight and so very very f instead of sharpening to a point I use the edge and you can still get a very sharp um, highlight I've got my little Faber-Castell uh, pencil sharpener if I want to use that emery board um, I've got a bone folder because I find sometimes it's easy to flatten a page in a colour book um, I've got my little Victorian needles because I might want to start sewing things back up <laughs> and then I've got some old blenders there's the uh, Derwent guard to go with the knife for making a sharp blade I've got a biro I've got a white gel pen a couple of paper clips to go on the edge of your pages to stop them curling um, some little paper torsions or tatillions a little paper, blenders, stubs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, an emery board, which works the same as this um, fine sandpaper. Sorry about the clunking in the background, it's feeding time at the zoo. Um, I've got three little soft ones. Now, they've got them at Wilco's as well, but I didn't buy them because they were soft. But they have a set for £3 at Wilco's. And there's, I think there's four in, but I've lost one. There was another one, I can't remember where it is now, but I popped it somewhere. So you get you can get them for just a few pounds. These are the softer ones, but I prefer the blender, the firm colour shapers, because they kind of work well into a paper, uh, a colour paper, a colour book paper rather, which is rather soft. There's a makeup applicator that I found, another makeup kind of squidgy thing. And then there's a fine colour shaper there, a firm. Now, I've looked these up and they're about £10, 8 to £10, which I thought was a bit expensive. Uh, so I'm sure you can get them cheaper. But I must admit, I'm going to want to go to an art shop and actually touchy-feely to see how they blend. These are quite soft. Um, the firm ones are better for colour book pages, for colouring in. If you were doing some very fine work on pastel paper, you will want a softer one for a softer blend. But we've got to really work this colour into this flat, shiny paper. So that works quite well. And that's all I have in my little pocket. I normally just use the two firm colour shapers. Uh, but I've got everything else in there handy because this is I'm actually going away so that's why I've got that um, I don't need that out I don't think I need the paint brushes out um, I'm going to pop that back in there I'll keep these out because I might want a sharp highlighter and this has gone a little bit blunt so I have oh I also have um, a pastel Gu uh, guide about pencils um, and these are the ordinary Derwent these are the, the artist ones so they're but like Prismalo and these are the professional art coloured pencils 
and there's the Derwent watercolour pencils and you'll see that the colours are the same. So you have a zinc yellow. So if you do a watercolour pencil zinc yellow, you can work over it with the zinc yellow and the compatible. Uh, but I like it because this one actually has, and I've looked a long, all over for this, it was in the tin all the time. This is an original, um, the original vintage set of pastels. So they have three called zinc yellow, but we have three different grades. And I don't have, I only have the 72. Um, there are 90 altogether. So I've got this I've got this set, but there is actually 90 colors altogether. So I'm uh, I'm a few short. So I've got that in there as well. I keep that handy. Uh, not that I really need to. I just wanted to know the colors. So this is my vintage and my vintage is a bit short on the reds. Sorry, darling. Um but we've got all oops, all those blues. And I've actually taken them out of their order. They were all kind of in colour order. And I've taken them out and I've spent a long time going from all the pales to darks, uh, putting all the purples together, putting all the oranges together, all the creams and the ivories, putting all the tan colours, the fawns, the browns. And then I've got the cool greys and the blacks and the whites. Uh, because I actually kind of like, I like to work that way and it didn't work in the normal Derwent, um, that particular set didn't work. But this is the new set, which is, if you, if you Google Derwent Pastel Pencils, you will get this set of 72. Um, and they're all numerical and they start with the pale yellows to dark yellows to oranges to reds. This is how your colour wheel would look. So this is my pencil colour wheel, um, pale yellow, and I normally put white there, uh, pale yellow, dark yellow, light orange, dark orange, reds, pinky reds, pinks, purples, purples, bluey purples, uh, ordinary blues, greeny blues, greens, pale greens, and then it goes uh, olive greens, browns, fawns, tans, browns, cold greys and black. And that would be your palette. That's that's a really good, um, if you were using every colour like that, that's a really good uh, proper colour wheel. And I've actually bought a couple of books on pastels and one's called the colour book, the colour, the pastel wheel colour book. And so I think that's going to be really exciting because that's going to give us a proper one, a proper colour wheel. But I like the way that Derwent have got from P10 to P720. Um, sorry, the first one is P. Yes, P010 to 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 720, which is this one. That's 770. 72 is white. White and black I'm actually going to put um, on a separate place. And the other thing I'm doing, because I've actually taken out, I've taken out my ink tents and my Derwent pencils because at the moment I can't use them. So I've taken them out because they're, they're not going to be any good to me. And I wanted to get five, five lots of pencils in here. But what that leaves me is a spare sleeve. And the spare sleeve I'm using as an individual. I When I was doing it earlier, I get the pencils out that I'm going to use on a particular page. Um, and I thought, well, actually, they were rolling about, one fell on the floor, and I thought, I don't like that. So what I've got here, and it will actually hold 22. So if I, or 24, so if I want to get 20 some colours out for a particular page I can do that especially with the Harry Potter ones where I'm trying to get them to match exact colours and be a bit more realistic I can actually leave the pencils here safe and I can actually just work from this one sleeve and then in the back I have all my um, oopsie what's happened there 
bristle backwards, which is not a good idea. I've got my little fluffy brush that I use uh, for throwing, uh, for moving uh, dust particles and eraser bits. And then I've got my riggers. I'm actually going to thin them out a little bit. So I want a set of three riggers. So I do like this new set that I've bought and that I was using the other day. And that's from Aquafine Dale Rowney riggers. I've got a two, six and a four. Um, I do really love, especially for the bigger areas, I like, I tend to buy things in sets of three. I think that's, that's, that's quite nice. It's three with three colours and it's three with a pencil. So I've got a six, a five and um, a three. And I'm sorry, but there is a little part, a, a little dog playing with his ball. He's got a new ball. That's actually quite nice because you've got quite a fat one there. A medium one and then a, a bit of a fine one there if you've got some really fine work and then don't forget in the bo in the little box we've got some very fine ones so this is for blending the pastels and setting them without using the blender or setting them afterwards whichever you fancy the other three I have which I quite like so they're the aquafine um, and I don't know if I've got the other one to this. I like this set. I got this from a model show set and I really, really like these. They work really well. Um, I think the other one is a little bit finer. There it is. Yes, I have them here. I need to sort them out a little bit. I've got um, a zero, three zero, a one and a three. And again, that gives you some quite nice work. This is quite nice with working with Derwent pencils or ink tents or watercolour pencils because you can scribble a bit of pencil and manoeuvre it to get some really fine detail that you can't get with the end of a pencil. So that's why I really like that set. That's one of my faves. So I might actually take that one with me as well. Start using it again. Uh, my old favourites are the, the Graduate Dale Rowney graduate uh, riggers and I have I think I've got far too many in here so we can sort them out let's have a look at these that's the Art Master Pearl set again I have a three Art Master Pearl set a two, a two zero and then there is a bit of a chunky one there that's kind of s snuck in somewhere because I used to use them like that if you use a, p a brush like this, if you touch the end, you're fine. But if you touch a bit more, as soon as that is in contact with the paper, it will flood out because that's what it's designed to do. It's a watercolour brush. So you've got to be a little bit careful when you use those. So I think I'm going to pop those back into my uh, little set of pencil paint brushes, which I have in a glass. And I've got quite a few in there. So these are all my really fine pencils that I use. Uh, most of them are very, very fine. And this one is a, a three zero, but that's extremely fine. Uh, I have been known to, to paint with a dog hair. <laughs> when I did my brushes, I painted with a dog hair. No dogs were hurt. We weren't hurting dogs. So I'm going to take the Art Master one out, although I, I do actually quite like that, but I don't need it. I'm going to take the three Art Masters and get rid of those, because the more brushes you have, the more you damage them. So we've got um, two number ones, a number two, a ten zero, and a three. Uh, and the three is a rigger as well. So just have a look at the three. I like the three. I like the two and the one and the ten zero, so I'm going to pop those in there. So that I've got four in that set. They're a little bit shorter, even though they're a rigger, they're a little bit shorter. But that's quite a fine one is the ten zero, so that gives you that little bit more control. If you want to get some very, very soft, um, if you want to get some very soft work. So I'm actually going to keep those nine brushes, I think, and then that's given me a lot of room in there because the more brushes you have, the more you're going to damage them. So that's not going to be damaged now. That's just going to sit quite nicely. My little thin baby wipes. And then at the back here, because I'd forgotten about this little book, 
I thought it would be handy and always remember to keep that upright because you damage your pages so in the back here oops and that's I have my sketchy stories so I actually do have in here this book and I've only done one page I think here but I haven't played with pastels because it's quite small but I was looking thinking I can get colour in here with my pastels so I'm going to take this with me I mean this is extremely small and <laughs> um, that's the that's the uh, that's the blending tool but what I will probably do um, I do have this little blending tool but what I would probably do is work with um, the fine brushes I'd do the fine brushes and then I would manipulate the colour where I wanted it and then it would be set so I wouldn't be touching it twice um, again it, it's shiny paper um, but I think I might I might decide to do this particular the, the Kirby Roseanne book so that's actually in there ready to go So has anybody got any questions? Oh, well done Karen. Yes, I was having it. That's the only worry, isn't it? Would you said artist pencils, are they pastel or are they um they're either pa are they pastel or are they ordinary pencil? But ordinary pencil you can blend. You could probably blend with ordinary pencil these, but it's it's just too much scrubbing kind of thing. It's one of the things I cannot do. Um, the reason I love this is I am just stroking the page with a pen pencil and I'm stroking a page with a blender. I'm not rubbing and blending because I just cannot do that. My thumb has got to sit there and do absolutely nothing. If we want the lang not the language to turn blue. So what I thought I might have a look at, I have then got to decide, oh the other thing I have in that pocket, I take these pastels with me because I'm going to start to do backgrounds, but I'm going to do backgrounds first. So I thought I would take these pastels with me and they fit in the back of the pocket as well. I have no idea what that dog's doing upstairs, I apologise, if you can hear the barking. Um, and so it does still, it still still does dip up, but that is completely stuffed to the rafters. But you know, there's enough to keep me going there for a while. So today I am going to play in this page. I think I'm going to. I finished. I've got one or two little bits to finish here in the Bennett, uh, in the Kirby Roseanne, but I'm going to do this page. and have a quick look at the time oh wonderful Karen she says she's got the full set of the vintage Derwent artist pencils well they're very expensive because they're art artist quality I just, just realised they've left the door open for large rulers that's all I can say so I'm very tempted to take this book because I do actually really like these colors but I'm going to use the bolder newer pastels for this one I think um, so it'll be a little bit of comparison between the vintage colors and the new colors um, and then I'd completely forgotten about this set of beauties I got for Christmas So I've the the thing that set off the pastel thing was this Bennett Klein book when it arrived. I thought it was a little bit too thin for my watercolouring. Even though I can do watercolouring on the on the Bible pages which are really thin, this just seemed that it would soak in and it would ruin the colours. So these are from the vintage set and I really like the colours. Um I, think I did about three in here. I think that's one of the first videos that I did with them, with the very pale with the girls. 
curls. I think that was the first one that I did. So I really like these gorgeous pastel, real pastel colours. And I thought I could actually work with these. I like these. I could do these in the whole book because there's so much in all the other things and the other books that I don't need to do that. Um, and the other thing I've remembered is I bought, I haven't done, I think I've done one other um, in the characters, which is um, the snake in the car. So that's pastel and it's not set, so it's got this paper between it. Sorry, the dog's going in and out. So I have all these to play with and they are always going to be just pastel. And then I bought the dragon book. Um, and when I tried to print it out, it printed the first section twice and then it didn't print anything else. <laughs> um, and again, I think there is the first video on this one. Um, and this... Oh, it is set. This is set. So um, I don't need that pastel paper there. So I did the very pale blue, which you can hardly tell. So I was actually using water. This was the practice page. Um, so I've done it in pastel and I've and so it actually will work but this is not this is not on the Bennett Klein color book paper this is on a hundred GSM HP and it's a little bit better quality paper just a little bit I would say it's twice as thick I think cheap printer paper is about 50 60 to 80 this is a hundred and it would just take that little damp brush so that you can set your pastels uh, so that's quite nice yes yes the Karen says the Bennett Klein books will fit in there the um, the other one that I was going to take with me which I probably will take because it's my f it's it is my favorite book is this one this one will be going this fits in because it's A4 as we call A4 and I'll measure that because I always say it's wrong A4 is 8 by 11 and 11 and a half which we call printer paper A4 in the UK that will fit in your Derwent bag that probably won't fit in my bag um, but we'll have a go because um, I'm going to take quite a bit. I'll probably take the dragons ones, but I'm definitely taking whoops, the Colin Thompson one. Oh, that's my little horse. I want my little horse to go back upstairs. So the Colin Thompson book will actually that's a good idea. I'll probably take that one. So what you do is you can pop it in and zip your book up. Mine may not zip up because bearing in mind I've got the other if I didn't have the pastels set, mine will zip up. The only thing with mine is I'm going to I'm going on a train, um, so it'll zip up to the top. So if you were just holding it like this, my camera slipped upright. It's in, it's zipped at the side, and sticks out the top. But because I'm actually going on a train, and then I'm going to be pushed in the wheelchair for a good good hour um, I'm not going to be happy with that like that it need my needs to be zipped up and the other thing is I want to take two sketchbooks with me <laughs> really. so I've got um, and again there is a bit of room because I've taken out my pastels because I thought I might do some backgrounds um, I've got three days three full days to sit and just do that so I think probably that's what I will do so I've got quite a lot in here and you don't want to stuff it too much because you're going to put a strain on the zip you're putting a str I mean I've got a little bit of give with me. I have no idea where that phone is. Oh, just bear with me.
Sorry about that, that was the phone. I don't know who that was. Um, so that's quite quite chunky, but you don't want to overfill it because if you put, you know, it is it is stitched, but you know, you want it to last a while. Um, and you don't really want to overstuff it. But I think I've got quite enough in there. And it, it doesn't want to be too heavy, but if you look at the stitching, that's quite solid, is that? But there is um, a side one. So this is probably going to go inside uh, one of my big shopping bags that I have. And then I can have my colour books down the side. So I'll have my colour books, a couple of colour books and this, uh, and a water bottle. And that's going to be my travel companion. And I probably will take these gorgeous things as well so I can actually use um, either markers um, I can use um, I can use anything on here because it's printed out I'm not going to be bothered what's up the back uh, but I I won't be doing that I will be using oh I like the shack I like the dragon with the shack I will be using oh I've got a where have I got a shadow now the minute you think you've got the lights I think it's the white. I think it's the white that it doesn't like. So again, I've got a couple of pages that I've started in here with just pastel, and these would move if I didn't have the grease proof paper. But mine's actually tracing paper. I find tracing paper, if it's good quality, it's just good. Um, so I've got a couple that I've started in pastels. Um, so I can work my way through that book. And then we have a dragon. So I'm, I've got that dragon to finish as well. So what I'm going to do, um, and I mustn't forget about these, so I need to put them somewhere safe. Luckily on a train you don't have to think about weight. So the first one I'm going to do today I want to finish that one, but having said that, I want to do this one. Hmm, where's it gone? I must have started this one as well. I must have started this one as well. Hmm, I started two Bennett Kleins. Yes, it's the light, it's flickering now. It's flickering there. It's not behaving itself. This one I'm working very simply, just with the blender. And this one I'm I'm working with the pastels, um, and then setting it with a water brush. So I've got these that I really want to have a look at today, if I can. My, that's a good one as well. You've got to look at all these pages and think, I need to get on. <laughs> I need to get on. This one would be quite good to finish. I'm going to try and finish, finish this page if I can this, this weekend. So I've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday of doing nothing much but colouring. So I'm sure I shall get quite a lot done. Um, and I try to work in different colours and different shades so I don't get bored. So I don't really want to get too bored when I'm colouring. So that's what's in my little bag with my pastels. Oopsie, I'll just put that there for a second. So you can either take them out or you can, which I've probably started doing, is just having them on one side and flipping them. Actually, I actually, I'm left handed, so I take the pencil out with the right hand and I use the point to push them in carefully. Um, it would be a bit of a pain, some of them haven't got as loose, not so bad, but some are a bit of a pain. Whereas if it's this way, I can do that and I can turn because this hand's a bit iffy. 
So um, I don't need to turn these because they're not in numerical order. They're not in colour order. They're in my colour order. I've made this colour order up. I've laid all the pencils out. And it takes a while if you've got um, a, a hundred and some. You can you can mix, and I've mixed them all up. So I've got my 72 set with my my 36 set, and then there was another two odd ten or others that were kind of from other things. Because Derwent have a, um, a sketch tin out which is pastel drawing set and it has um, some pastel pencils and it has some ink tense blocks and it has a sander and it has um, a, a, it has all sorts of things in it for sketching with pastels so it's quite a good little tin set if you want to start off with pastels that's quite a good little set um, and I like the order that I've got them. There's there's quite a lot of pencils in here, uh, but I I'm tempted to can't make my mind up whether to mix these new set. But this set I've actually know where they are now, so I kind of like them. And what happens is um, this is the new. These are the older ones. These are the new. Whoopsie. This is the new set. And if you have them up to the the top they'll never sit over the bottom so they're always protected you can't get to them because of this because they're always about um, half an inch at either end so you can have them right at that end and have all that at this side protecting them which is probably about an inch yeah there's about an inch so you've got a good inch to protect the pencil nibs because they're quite soft. Um, I think the other pencils were possibly a little bit longer, but no, we've still got an inch. We've still got an inch. So if you push them all to the bottom edge there, you've got all that protection if you're worried about the length of them. Um, they're eight inches are the pencil, probably eight and a quarter. Eight and eight and an eighth to eighth. So they're just over eight inches are the actual sleeves, and these pencils are seven and three quarters. I think that's the longest one. Let me have a look. About seven inches. Yeah, they're about seven inches long, these pencils. So you've got a good inch spare. So you don't have to worry about knocking the pencils. So I just thought I'd show you. So if you have, um, I originally had, did I zip my little pocket up? Yeah, I zipped the pocket up. So once you've zipped this pocket up, it's fine. You could put your mobile phone in there. Um, you could put it in here, but then, you know, things can fall out. So I'm a bit funny that way. If I'm just working, I'll pop my phone in here. But if I'm not working, if I'm moving about, then everything wants to be zipped up. But if you put your phone in there and you've double zipped it and, a, and maybe a coin purse or a note, you know you've got a little bit of money with you and you, that's all you need and a bottle of water. Um, so it has a strap, a Velcro strap to hold it together. Again, that's another added protection. If you didn't have it zipped all the way up, if you had a colour book in there, you could have this strap so your book wouldn't fall out if you had the Colin Thompson book. It would go here and it wouldn't fall out. In fact, see if I can show that because I had that when I went into the into the lounge. So I'd probably put it in the middle. But where I put it? Did I put it in the middle? Don't know where I put it now. But I do have a lot in this. I have five sleeves. So I've got a bit of pressure on there, but what I can do is I've got my Velcro handle over my Co Colin Thompson book, which, as I say, is a printer paper. Um, so that's 11 and 11 and a half inches tall by eight. And it's half zipped up. But I have that. That is that is well stuffed. 
but if you're just traveling from room to room that would be okay or that would be okay in another bag if you because I'm going to put a bottle of water um, and I'm, but I'm probably going to put another couple of colour books in there um, and I'm going to buy some new uh, shapers when I go so then you just unvelcro the handle and you can take your colour book out so as I say mine is completely stuffed to the rafters I've got one two three four five sleeves in mine so I got the 72 ink 10 pencils I got the 72 watercolor pencils and I got the 72 pastel pencils um, in my set and I think I had two sets of metallics Derwent metallics and Caran d'Ache metallics as well so I had a lot of pencils in my pencil bag. Um, I would recommend four sleeves. Five's been a bit greedy, but you know you've got them all there. They're all they're all safe. They're not going to go anywhere when you tip it up. The pencils don't move unless you push them. They do not move. Uh, and you get two pencils. In the other thing, I put my da my daughter's um, in my daughter's one here. I haven't done very much with it. This to one side. This is my daughter's. It's all kind of flat and new. So she's because I'm I'm trying to sort get my pencils out for her because I don't use them. I've given her the Derwent metallics and my other daughter. She has some biros in coloured biros and she has the the beautiful um, Derwent colour soft pencils and then she has some other Rexel colored pencils that studio ones some Derwent drawing pencils um, these are gorgeous um, fawns and browns that's a beautiful set that's from the drawing set the Derwent drawing set that that's a nice set of pencils so a few Kate Faber Castells um, and she's got two sleeves in but there are a few more sleeves that she'll be having other things in I've just found some some more pencils for her that so she can carry that round with her or leave it on the sofa and she can sit and colour while she's watching TV with everybody else and it de-stresses her when she was doing her exams so it worked out quite well oh hi little bookworm welcome to Bunny's Designs anybody else that's popping in um, I just thought I'd go through my little book of how I'm going to take away for the weekend, a long weekend, my pastels. Um, so as I say, I do put my phone in there when I want to get to it handy. When I'm working from this, it's quite nice. Um, and I will sit mine long ways so um, I can take the pencil out and just flick to the colours that I want. Um, and I think that works quite well and then at this end I have the new set of the dough and pencils and then at the back I have uh, my little soft pencils that I was using the other day and I cannot for the life of me think what it was and I cannot remember what I was doing so I shall have to watch the video <laughs> to remind me but I mean I have in here you know, a full set of professional pastels to do the backgrounds. I have a big pack of baby wipes. I have my watercolour pencils and I've took pens, sorry. Sorry, my my riggers for working or for fasting. And then I have my little sketchy stories. So I've probably got uh, quite a lot in there. I might take this out because I don't want to put too much pressure on it. It's basically for pencils really. Um, but I thought that was a good little book to take with me on the train. So once you take that out, so that has no extra pencils. It, it just has the pencils and the... Um, that's given 
quite a lot more room in there now. There's quite a lot more room in there. Because I just have the things in that first pocket which are all to do with the parcels. Um, and it's a lot lighter as well without these two in. I mean, you could pop the baby wipes in there if you really wanted to. You didn't have to put them inside. So I just thought I'd show um, what I was going to take with me and how I'd set up my um, my travel bag, my Derwent travel bag, for a weekend away travelling on the train will be quite good to use and again I won't be losing any pencils on the floor um, and yeah I've got everything in there that I need now I do tend to pull this over the flaps because I've got lots of things in there and then if you put the handle together and I've got fiddly fingers you can carry it by the handle or you've got the strap but that's my little bag all set for my trip away so that's what's in my my Derwent pencil bag <laughs> so thanks for watching